What is going on guys, Pinoche Nob here and this is just a video showing you guys how to get some um, some XP pretty much and how to rank up hopefully the fastest way possible. I haven't looked around at other people's video, I'm pretty sure Tmart made a video and um, I don't think I've seen it but hopefully he hasn't covered all the points that I'm going to make in this video because um, there's one at the end that I think is pretty pretty awesome and I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I've never heard it mentioned before. Maybe I could be wrong. You guys can correct me in the comments below. But um, yeah, so pretty much uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up real quick. And this is going to be very helpful, especially if you're like um, prestiging like I am. You know, I got to 10th prestige level 80 and I thought, might as well keep going. I mean, the next game is going to come out in November and that's plenty of time to get to, you know, 15th prestige. So... Uh, although, although from 10th prestige to 15th prestige, there's really no difference at all, except for well, there, actually no, there is no there, there is no difference. Um, there's no unlocks. There's no like titles or emblems. Anyway, that's besides the point. If you're prestige whatever and you you just want to get through the prestiges ASAP, this is pretty much how you're gonna do it. So uh, first of all, you want to you want to know all the different types of challenges that there are in um, in the game. So. So basically, uh, right here, this is um, before you go into multiplayer, you know, like a multiplayer game, you can go to barracks and then challenges. And right here, you got a bunch of different stuff like daily challenges, which changes pretty much every day. You get three and you get like 1000 XP for each. They're pretty easy, to be honest. And then you get weekly ones, which change obviously every week. And you get more XP, you get 5k XP. And I think you should take full advantage of these because they're constantly changing. They're like contracts for Modern Warfare 3, you know, like from Black Ops. Right here you got the primary weapons and the secondary weapons. I'm not too sure if this XP actually counts to the actual gun or your XP. And there you have perks, lethal stuff, tactical stuff, stuff for the strike package, basic training. Now this one is probably one of the easiest ones. You got base jump, fall to your death and stuff like that, destroy a car. Some of the more easiest, easier challenges I guess. And um, this one is to do with like game types, you know, so if you're like good at free for all, you should get all the free for all ones for sure. And um, precision, uh, finishing moves, humiliation, and as you can see, like the further down we go with these names, the harder they get. And you actually unlock them as you level up. Prestige, you have this throughout like all the prestiges actually. So you know, from one first prestige all the way to fifteenth, that doesn't change because they're actually kind of hard to get. So um, those are pretty much the challenges. You should definitely take full advantage of them if you can, especially like you know the basic ones, which are really easy and. The ones that have to do with game types because, you know, especially if you're good at like a wide variety of game types, you're going to get more XP. So, uh, the ones with the weapons, like I showed you the primary weapons and the secondary weapons, I'm not too sure if they are, if it's like XP added to your leveling, like your level up, or if it actually, you know, if it's actually XP adding to your weapon XP. I'm not too sure. Um, and um, yeah, so another thing that you could do is definitely try to excel in the game types that you're good at. Like in this video right here, I'm actually playing in Kill Confirmed and I do pretty well in Kill Confirmed. You know, I'm not the best, but I get some pretty decent scores. Also like Search and Destroy. So, I mean, if, you, if you're good at a certain game type, you should probably play that more than the rest. I mean, you should play the other ones just to get the XP from the challenges, but you know, the bulk of your game time should be in the ones that you like the most or the ones that you are um, better at. You know, the ones that you are best at, I should say. Another thing is play the objective, especially if you play game types like, you know, Domination, um, you know, Search and Destroy, Sabotage, whatever, whatever it is. Um, you want to be capping those flags, you want to be planting those bombs, and you know, sometimes it's hard because those are the things that kind of get you killed, you know, being that super objective player. But, you know, if you want to get a lot of XP, that's what you have to do because, you know, for example, in Search and Destroy, I believe his. Is it 2,000 or... No, it's no, no, no. It's 1,000 points for a bomb plant and it's 500 points for a kill. So clearly, if you're playing objective more and you're planting a ton of bombs, you're going to get more XP than if you get the same number of kills. So if you get 5 kills, you will get more XP if you plant 5 bombs instead of getting 5 kills. So um, clearly, you want to be planting those bombs, uh, capping those flags, do all that kind of stuff. Be the objective player that everyone loves. Another thing is you want to take advantage of double XP weekends. Now right now we're in a double XP weekend for the PS3 and I believe for the Xbox also. I'm not too sure about the PC. But um, they come around every time a new full map pack comes out. So right now I think all the maps that came out for Elite through the past few months have just been released for the, like 
um, everyone on PS3, so even people without Elite can get them. And that's when they usually do the um, the double XP weekend. So if you don't know when they're going to be, you know, you should like follow. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll always post it. Or you can follow the um, official Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Facebook page or Twitter page. So right here, this is pretty much how you get your prestige token. Get you a spare, what is it, two hours of double XP. So every time you prestige, you get like a free prestige token. And with that prestige token, you can use to buy two hours of double XP. And that's pretty awesome. You have to play very well in those two hours to get, you know, the bang for your buck and like the most XP possible. But um, if you use this prestige token, during like double XP weekend, which it is right now for about I think two more days until like Monday, uh, you will get quad XP, which is awesome. I haven't heard anyone else talk about this. Maybe I'm just late and everyone already knows about this, but quad XP. Look at this clip of Search and Destroy. I'm getting 2k of XP for one kill, 2,000 points. Usually it's 500 points, but because of double XP, it becomes a thousand. And then I use a prestige token to get double XP again. So it's four times. I think maybe even if you use another one, you can get eight times XP. Who knows? But I'll try that in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please do share it. Let's make it famous. I think this video is pretty insightful. Let's make it famous like Kony. Um, let's make it, what, hashtag quad XP 2012. Yeah, let's make it famous. I will talk to you guys later. This was Pinochinobi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and have a great double XP weekend. Peace.